I have always heard legendary tales of large pillow stacks and the deepest of powder in Revelstoke, BC. My brother Yancey and I decided to pull the trigger. We loaded up, gassed up, and are headed north to Canada from Sun Valley, Idaho. Quick stop to visit our grandma before crossing the border, and these two Idaho boys will be on an adventure into unfamiliar territory. I'm Wyatt Caldwell, and we're on the road to Revelstoke. Packed up, leaving Idaho. Headed north to Canada, eh? And then on to Alaska. The uh, Idaho stage of our winter is over. I've been traveling all over the world for the last 15 years, snowboarding and chasing the ideal snow conditions to explore new places to ride. But out of all the long flights overseas and all-nighter drives chasing the contest circuit, this trip to Canada and on to Alaska will be the longest trip I have ever attempted by far. When I was younger, I remember wishing I could turn back the winter clock and get a few more months of riding powder in before the spring melt. The plan is to hit the old dusty trail, head north, and extend our winter by a few months, chasing storms and snow conditions up the powder highway. My brother Yancey and I plan to live in my truck camper and sled trailer for two months on the road as we chase powder 3,000 miles north, enduring some frigid temps to say the least. Just rolling through uh, Kalispell Lake, Washington, visiting my granny. Uh, we came up here for turkey hunting over Thanksgiving a few months ago, so it's cool to come back and see where the snow line is. And uh, this time we're hunting for some deep powder in British Columbia. It's super fun being on the road with my brother. Most of my friends with brothers say they'd be at each other's throats by the state line, but Yancey and I seem to keep the constructive criticism to a minimum and enjoy each other's company for the most part. Having my brother along to shred and help run cameras to document our trip is going to be awesome. The opportunity for us to ride new mountains, meet new people, and visit new places together will be a trip of a lifetime for us to experience. Just on our way north from Nelson up to Revelstoke. Stopped there for 24 hours and got to see the town. And uh, yeah, we're pumping up Kootenai Lake. And hope to pull into Revelstoke later on this evening after catching the ferry. Just talked to Scott Newsom from Eagle Pass Heli. First blue day in over a month is forecasted for tomorrow and the snow is deep and stable. A few days on the road now, so we're tired and smelling a bit ripe. Looking forward to some dinner, a hot shower, and some sleep before the early morning heli briefing. Looks like tomorrow could be an epic first day, so we're stoked to meet up with our first ascent crew and explore the Monashi Mountains for the first time. <laughs> 